That was my journey. So how to begin? The only thing I had was my instinct, my intuition. That's the way it started. Now, what do you do? You do 26 world rackets. In ice cold water is the most dangerous. You go climb Mount Everest in your shorts. That would kill most people. You swim under the ice and lose the way, and you don't know where you are, are and, and, and it's, it's frozen, and you don't know. And you go, and you survive. I was able to stay for five to seven minutes every time under the ice. And the only thing I ever heard down there was at the side. It away. Silence is powerful. Silence is dense. It's what I found there. All right, guys, I'm gonna do this the best I can. I um, it's the next day. I just My camera feel. died yesterday at the same spot. So um, I'm gonna let you guys know what's up. So I've been doing the Wim Hof method and with cold water immersion. Uh, I do ice baths three days a week, and I do cold showers every day. And I'm just gonna get right into like the benefits of it. So, personal benefits. So on the psychological end, um, when you wake up in the morning and you start your day off right into something that's very stressful, like a cold shower, every other menial task um, is that much like less stressful. If you start the day off and you, you go into a shower and you just wake yourself up and you hit yourself with something and your body has to react and gets that rush of uh, adrenaline and then you go on a drive and someone like cuts you off or something, your day started off with this hard task that you got through. So everything else in contrast is less of a stress to your life. And that's just one thing. It also just teaches you, I think there's like, this is gonna sound weird, but there's like a lot of metaphors throughout life. And uh, like you work out and you break down and then you recover and you come back stronger. And I don't think that's just with working out. I think that just goes with everything. So if you work your, your mental, you know, you start the day off, you like stress yourself out, you can deal with stress better. So if this is like what Wim Hof says, it cures anxiety, depression, you know, and if you're having all these problems, besides running away from all the pain all the time, you got to embrace it and you got to come at it. And when you take it head on, it can't attack you because you're attacking it. You know, if you, you can't be running from the pain 24 seven, that's the same thing work it out. People are so scared of like, oh, I can't eat healthy, I can't do this. Well, you're running away from it. You know, now now you're just like, you're looking at your life and you're just like, why am I out of shape? Why am I this? But it's like, just embrace what it is. Just do what you gotta do. Yeah? But, um, hold on. Say you take an ice bath for five minutes. It's pretty short. Now you take an ice bath. Next time, seven minutes. Next time, ten minutes. Next time, 15. Next time, 20. And then Wim Hof got up to 200, I mean, two hours. Now you can see that it's not just muscles or your body that can be changed and recovered. I think everything in the world has the same process. Oh, you're going to die of hypothermia, blah, blah, blah. Which, yes, if you just did it your first time, you've never done it before, and you went to freezing cold water, you probably would. But to the man who's been training to do it his whole life, now scientists would be astonished because they're like, how is he doing this? Because you can train everything. You can train your nervous system, you can train your mind, you can be less stressed, you can have these so what superpowers, but they're not even superpowers, they're just what we're already able to do but no one told us because everyone's too scared to actually do it. So when actually someone is not scared and likes like, I don't care what these people say and they push the boundaries, we end up finding new things. That's why I say there's 
there's not even that many definites in science because science is just looking at the past and expecting what happened in the past to happen again. But that just means that we haven't discovered more. That's why I could change, because before they would say, oh, you're going to die if you are in this temperature or this for too long and your body's not going to be able to react. That's because we were looking at people who weren't trained. But now, I think people are going to be more awakened to the fact that everything can be trained. And we are a lot stronger mentally and physically than we ever thought possible. Like even a few days ago, first under two hour marathon. And it's only going to progress more and more. So, I don't know. I hope you guys listened. Um, yeah, I'll do a little tutorial, I guess, on how to do the breathing. So, Alright, so how to do the breathing. So, you're going to want to do one big breath to the stomach. Then you're going to bring it to the chest. And then you're going to try to like think of it going to your head. So you're going to... And then when you exhale, you don't want to exhale fully. You just want to exhale a little bit. Like you're just letting go of the air. So you're just like... Just exhale a little bit. And then fully into the stomach, fully in the chest, into the head. And then exhale a little bit. Now do this 30 times. And then on the 30th one, you exhale fully all the air you got and then you just lay there or sit or wherever you are just be in a comfortable place and don't do it in water or somewhere that like you'd be unsafe if you fell um, so <clears throat> after that you just lay there and then once you get the urge to breathe which is probably gonna be after a minute to two minutes taking a full breath of air hold that for 10-15 seconds and that's one set do that for four sets and I tell you like you're gonna think you're like on DMT or something your brain is like your just whole body will be vibrating everything feels like it just feels good um, so I would definitely recommend trying that I know it might sound crazy to people who don't do it and it might sound like some hippie BS but I'm just trying to help everyone out so I hope anyone I hope someone as long as one person tries it out and has a good effect then you know mission accomplished so I don't know, um, like and subscribe, you know the deal, and, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later, um, thanks if you watch the whole thing, um, catch you on the next time.